Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on the bell method for pyramids. For you, for those of you who don't know what the bell method is, it is when you solve a top, but with the edge kind of oriented, so you can solve it with R prime L prime. So kind of like okay, but the edge flipped, and then you have you solve all the senses, and then you do a short algorithm which you probably already know for this case. So this one just this and then you do your last layer case. So let's go into the cases. So this is the first case that I will show where you have the left one already placed or the left one you made. So you have the you have all you always have to or no but for this case you have to position it in the front or at least hold it in the front with uh, the color not being the same as on the front. So for this one, you will therefore move the other layer that's not touching the already placed one. So therefore you do R prime, and then therefore you will do an L prime, R, L, and then you will have solved both of these. So you can kind of apply the same to this one, where this can be solved with R, and then it's the opposite colors. Um, this one is already uh, solves to that or almost solves, but therefore we'll do the L first R L prime R prime or R switched up those two. But yeah, the next two cases. So these two are the last remaining cases, with this one being that these uh, the color is the same as the sensor one. Therefore, when it's the left one that's already solved, you need to hold it on the left, and then you will do. L2 prime, R prime, L prime, R, L prime. Yeah. And on this one, on it, when it's on the right, and these are the same colors, you will make sure to hold this one on the right and do R2 prime, L, R, L prime, R. And then it's done. So, all in all, the bell method is top first method. There's only four cases, and it's a really useful method. However, it's not usable as a main method, it's just an add-on method after you have learned uh, learned uh, methods like one flip and OK, which are way more important than this one. But after you've learned those two, I would recommend learning this one. So, hope you enjoyed and learned the bell method.